Hi, we're Jin and Tao. This is our channel, Below Zero Greens. And if you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. We hope you subscribe and enjoy our gardening journey. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Before we get started with today's video, if you're curious as to what we're using, feel free to click in the descriptions. We've left a few Amazon links down below of those products. Today we're going to show you how we make our DIY black bins and what tools you need. The bins that we've been using is from IKEA and it holds 4 liters of water. This is the lid that you can purchase with the bins or separately. It's also good to know if your bins are food grade. We also like that the lid blocks the light from forming algae. One of the best parts is that there's no struggle when lifting the lid to take a peek at the water levels or having to refill the bins with water. Open and close. For this bin size, I'll be using mostly the 2 inch net cups. Before drilling holes, I like to plan what I'll be planting depending on what I want to grow you can nicely fit two lettuces or you can fit three two inch neck cups and maybe grow some green onions i'll show you the size difference between a two inch neck cup and a three inch if you want to use a three inch i would suggest just using one for the lid now to get started take your drill and whatever drill bit size you wish to use, depending on your net cup. As you can see, the hole's a little rough around the edges, and if that bothers you, I can show you a little trick. Once the lid has been punctured, then you stop and reverse the drill. Reversing the drill leaves a smoother cut. Look at the difference. When drilling in reverse, you might have to apply a little bit of force. Look at how smooth these look. Once you're done drilling all the lids, take your little plant. I'll be planting a little tomato. Now look at how easy it is to lift the lid and fill the bin up with water. Then we add plant nutrients. If you want to know what we use and the ratio, I'll leave a link down below in the descriptions. And there you have it. That's how we make our DIY IKEA bins. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, if you have any tips and tricks of your own or video requests, we'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. For more videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we left a few links down below of the products that we've used. Until next time, goodbye!